The opposition wing in parliament led by Joel Senyonyi, the leader of opposition, has of recent presented to the media several allegations relating to the unjustified expenditure of taxpayers' money, spearheaded by the top management of parliament. We are seeing plenty of money being put on the accounts of staff members. Some work in the office of the speaker, others uh, different offices, as uh, you have been seeing. It's important that there gets to be an explanation about this money. It's a lot of money. What exactly did it do? How come it's being transmitted through accounts of staff members? Lop Senyonyi issued an ultimatum of seven days for the House to resume sittings and respond accordingly to the claims after the Speaker recently adjourned the sittings signed die. On Wednesday, Biaga West and Remiaga County representatives Barnabas Tinkasimire and Theodore Sechkubo added their voice to the opposition call. And we are calling on the Speaker, we are calling on the Deputy Speaker, the clerk, to live up to their calling to seize the mandate of, of, of parliament as given by this constitution, to restore parliament. Parliament is being run down, first of all, by those terrible allegations which we can't find reasons and answers to. If indeed there is no graft, why doesn't somebody come up and give a statement? The Director of Communications and Public Affairs at Parliament, Chris Obori, this week watered down the allegations as rumours on which the House cannot pronounce itself. No. So that one is something which will be dismissed. So we are doing things in a structured manner. And when we see it as a trash, we can't respond to trash. When there is evidence, facts, we are going to respond to the facts. But they have not given us the the facts. So far they are throwing falsehoods. The MPs landed on a letter addressed by the Prime Minister Robin Nabanja to the Speaker of Parliament requesting for more time before the House could resume sittings, citing that cabinet ministers are away to their respective constituencies to monitor government programs. In the letter, the PM requested the Speaker that the MPs also join the ministers to follow up on the government programs. We ask the executive to only know that there are a arm of government and parliament is also a arm of government. If parliament has been called, it is a arm of government. If you choose that your ministers are not going to attend, let it be on record and explain where they are. But to receive one communication from uh, the clerk who actually wrote on behalf of the speaker, then again you receive another, uh, another letter stopping the resumption of parliament is a very unfortunate situation in this country. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gwitabinji, UBC News.